Hello guys and welcome to Top Channel 1 on 1. So today I want to introduce you to my object instance, Geometry Node Setup, which you can get on Gumroad. Uh, it's, a, it's a way to just make this channel sustainable, how to make these products uh, so that uh, because sometimes YouTube money doesn't really, uh, is not really enough to pay the bills. So I have to make this uh, to sustain the channel. But uh, yeah, this is, I think, is great value. So it's uh, an instance uh, in a way of uh, distributing or scattering objects like you would see uh, the particle system or the array system and you can see some of the demos out in the reference images here Let me show you how it works. It's very easy to set up uh, So what you get when you download the project file is uh, this file here and it just shows you a sample of what you can do with uh, the setup. Let me just get one like this and uh, So basically it works like uh, the array uh, modifier and uh, the particle system combined into one setup, uh, but uh, with even more functionality. So for example, let's see, let me import in using my asset library. Uh, this is another product that I use uh, a lot. Uh, it's uh, like the asset browser, but uh, my own version compacted in a small form and uh, much easier to use. Let, let's get some stuff. Let's say, uh, let's get uh, this later. And uh, let's also get, by the way, if you want to get this add-on at the asset library, it doesn't come with the asset. It's just, it just lets you uh, manage your assets much better. Uh, let's see, what else can we get? I want some simple things just to show you how the add-on works. Maybe drop in a gift and uh, I don't know. A week, no? Like this, I don't know, a candle like that and uh, yeah so we want to maybe scatter these objects in in 3d space uh, you can use the particle system but uh, the particle system has its issues especially when you're trying to uh, rotate the object in a certain way it uh, it's really hard to figure out uh, this one is very straightforward you just uh, say these are the objects you want to scatter uh, you can just have them in a collection i'll call them uh, x and uh, now here you have when you select this object you will see that uh, the geometry node setup is a modifier that uh, has a bunch of settings and i've grouped uh, the different settings here to make it much easier for you to understand uh, to yeah to, to grasp how things are and uh, you can either instance using by ob using on object or instance using by collection so let me select uh, the any of the books we want here so let me say i will use this book uh you can uh, play with basically a lot of settings. Let me just show you here. So this is the book. We can play with the scale, initial scale, bring it down. There is random rotation. So I, if I want to remove that, I can just uh, remove that so that all the books are facing the same direction. But uh, if I want to bring back uh, the random rotation, I can have that so that uh, they are rotated uh, randomly and I can play with the C to get uh, different rotations. I can uh, play the minimum and uh, maximum rotation. If I want uh, just rotation everywhere, you just have to make sure that uh, the random rotation is off and I uh, just have the XY rotation, random rotation. So you have basically rotation in er any direction uh, or if you want just in one direction, I uh, just have that like that. I also have uh, random uh, distribution in the x and y plane so if i want x and y z plane if i want just the x and y you can remove the strength in the x so that uh, everything is on the ground like that or if you want to add some z distribution you can also add that i can uh, reduce the uh, distribution on the yeah basically you can control how uh, the distribution is it's, it's a better way to uh, to set to set up things so that's just the object instance but if you want the collection instance you call it collection instance you can also do that just make sure make sure you use collection here and that should uh, bring in the collection let's see uh, our collection is called x and uh, you can see now we have the objects now the issue is that uh, this object is too big and it's okay to have it like that so you can see that uh, uh, maybe we can just use the initial scale bring up the initial scale here you can see we have the other objects as well but uh, it would serve us best to have these at the same scale just apply the scale and uh, then they can be easily scattered 
where is my initial skill bring that up can even turn on random scale uh, to randomly scale things and I can play with the seed and uh, maybe just increase the initial scale minimum scale maximum scale so and uh, this is just scattering things in the in one single plane but uh, if you want you can also scatter them in the XY plane uh, so let's just increase the positioning so spread them out a bit more so doing this kind of setup using uh, the particle system would be very very difficult it's especially getting the objects to face the right direction you want uh, so for example uh, if I want them to rotate a different uh, direction I can change uh, the initial rotation here quite easily so yeah just having that control in one place and uh, yeah you know that uh, any in any way you want to use this it's, it's going to work so um again i can change bring in introduce some z positioning you can also distribute this in the z direction and because these are instances uh adding more instances which you can add using the count here i can reduce uh, the distribution like that i can increase the distribution uh, you can also increase the distribution in Z, but this only works if you have the Z plane, XYZ plane active. You can see so I can add more there. I can also increase the Z distribution. Now, we don't have uh, any scattering noise, uh, so let's do that. I'll just go to the noise here. I'll bring in some uh, X noise and uh, some Y noise uh, to scatter things around and maybe even some Z noise and uh, we can also turn on some random scale ra random rotation sorry uh, where is that instance rotation uh, we can turn off the Z so that we have objects randomly rotated uh, one thing I'm realizing now, I think I should be able to make this animatable in the future. Uh, I haven't set that up yet, uh, making this animatable, uh, but uh, these all these parameters should be animatable. So, yeah, if uh, you so choose, but I think uh, in the future I'll add in some more animation options yeah so if you want to have some animation you can uh, have that there may be yeah so th there's several things we could do here uh, maybe even let me see can I add an empty like this just parent this entire thing to this and I'm getting some ideas on what kind of functionality I could add into this in the future yeah, so I think yeah that could work as I don't know maybe you have a character in the middle you know, let's do that since I have one already uh, let's try and make this fun Maybe have a character in here again. If you want uh, the asset library I'm using here, a uh, link is in the chat. Is in the description. Sorry. Uh, really helps out uh, the channel. Makes it sustainable as YouTube revenue is not super reliable. Anyway, so um, maybe yeah. That's a, a nice animation, very quickly, very easily. Yeah, maybe we can even add some, let me see. Okay, Brenda crashed. Uh, I think because I was using uh, the unstable version, which is 3.1, but uh, the add-on works is, is uh, the modifier is very stable. So anyway, that's uh, going to be 
it's if you want to get the add-on it's going to be available on uh, uh my gumroad page and uh blender market i haven't uploaded it on blender market i just want to test out gumroad because i haven't used it a lot i see how uh that fits in my uh yeah uh, fits in in how i do things and uh yeah but uh, it's also going to be available to my patreon so i'll be uploading that uh thank you see you next